If we were married, your name would be Ada Vader. <laughs> Darth, you are funny. Welcome to Boing Boing Video. I'm Shenny Jardin, and I'm here with Peter Serafinovich. Welcome, Peter. Hey, hello. Peter, you're in town working on the Robert Zemeckis Yellow Submarine remake. You've been doing motion capture over here on the west side. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah. What's that been like? It's a trip. It's just, you know, what can I say? You know, I'm just such a huge Beatles fan, you know. And here I am, you know, getting the chance to play, you know, one of my idols, you know, who's, you know, he's a... Uh, He's a living legend, you know? If you don't, I'm doing Mick Jagger. Um, so, no, I'm, I'm being Paul McCartney, of course. What can I do to convince you? If you want me to, I'll kill. Some people might say that you've made quite a name for yourself making fun of Paul McCartney. If you're familiar uh, with my stuff, my sketches, and you know, you can see my my, uh, my my things are very much homages to the Beatles rather than like I'm being and being sort of very arch. You got a pain deep down inside. Look on your face, you just can't hide. Take a load off of your mind. Take a load off your behind. The thing that really got me into the Beatles was I was more of like a huge comedy note, you know, so I was into Monty Python were my Beatles growing up. But then, and then I saw the Rottles, you know, and, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And the, the songs are great. And I had the album, my, my best friend, my oldest friend, Simon, when I was growing up said, look, you should listen to the actual Beatles. You know, they're really amazing, you know. <laughs> so then I did, I listened to Sgt. Pepper. And I was like, wow. And I sort of liked the more sort of theatrical, you know, the, 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 the sort of the benefit of Mr. Kite and, yeah. you know, all the sort of funny-ish ones. And then I got into the White Album. I was like, wow. And then, and they seemed so far removed from that sort of, you know, pop band that, that didn't sort of appeal to me at all, you know? And then once I got into that, I was like, these are like perfect songs. And that's their legacy is like, they have created 200 songs that are like classic pop songs. When did McCartney first start coming out of Sir Fennel? You know, I do Paul, but you know, also I do John, you know, and I especially loved, I loved listening to John, you know, the, the whole, you know, post Beatles, you know, when he had that sort of um, cadence that sort of dropped back and that kind of wise guru then, you know. I've got so much money. Ringo, you know, just that whole lugubrious, the most lugubrious voice you could ever imagine. <laughs> you know, people think that um, being in the Beatles must have been a lot of fun. Well, it was. I also, you know, try to. George is my weakest one, you know, sort of trying to do him is a bit like, you know, having a, trying to get, you know, like you've got a pencil that you're clenching between your molars. I really don't need the toilet. The character debuted, as I understand it, on the Peter Serafinowicz show, your, your BBC show. Well, it, it actually was b when I did, um, I had this time when I'd been booked for a pilot, but I had like a month where I couldn't do any work. And it was just when YouTube had started, and I'd seen that video that the Lonely Island did. The yeah. um, oh no no, it was the uh, the SNL the um, the Chronic of Narnia. Sure. So I saw that. I was like, wow, like hundreds of thousands of people have watched this. They've just done this. I mean, of course, okay, so it was on SNL, but it was like you could now email a link to your mom, and she could open it, and it would start playing. It'd be like, wow, you know. So I actually did Paul McCartney on, on this very, this YouTube video. I think you can still get it, you know, this O News. It was like a spoof of E News. O News. He was being interviewed because he'd written this Oscar nominated song for Capote that was, uh, Oh, Capote, I love the books that you wrote. You're such a true man, true man. <laughs> So, so, so it just did that, like, in GarageBand, you know? And we, uh, 
we recorded this and edited on Final Cut, you know, just all total laptop stuff. Suddenly, within like a few hours, 100,000 people had watched this thing. And, it, and this was like, YouTube didn't exist before like three months before. And then suddenly it was like, oh, wow, we can, we can like do stuff, you know? So originally, what we were gonna do, the Peter Serafino show was, was we were gonna try and do it all on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then we, then the BBC got in touch with us and said, well, we'll pay you to do like a proper, we'll give you a proper budget to do an actual TV show. So we're like, great. I got seven Mac 11s, about eight, 38s, nine, nine, 10 Mac 10s, the shit's never end. You can't touch my riches, even if you had MC Hammer and the 357 bitches. What we ended up doing, we made sure that it would be backwards compatible with YouTube. So all the sketches would be able to be broken off and have their own separate life. Hi, I'm John, and I'm going to give you a guided tour of the latest revolution in computer technology, the Mactini, <laughs> the smallest computer in the world. So this is amazing. You actually structured the show with web video and, and, and online video sharing in mind. Yeah, definitely. Not only that, but we tailored the content so that it was relevant to English-speaking people sure. and not and even even not non-English-speaking people. So I, I would do you know like so people like Al Pacino, Paul McCartney, The Beatles, uh, Simon Cowell are all people that everybody knows worldwide. I enjoyed them. However, I would not recommend that as a date movie. DVD is out. February oh yeah, 1st. February the first. The DVD. I mean, and this was this was another thing about Twitter. I saw that Jonathan Ross, and if you don't know who he is, if you're in the states, he's like he's like our sort of biggest talk show host. He does. He, Jonathan Ross does his show, and yeah. he, he like announced this big thing. And he was leaving the BBC. So I said, I am leaving the BBC in caps on my on my Twitter thing. So people are like, what? Really? Are you? Wow. You know, not realizing that. <laughs> my show had been sort of quietly dropped by the BBC like over a year ago, you know. So then, I, then I went to I went outside the BBC in London. I went physically went there. I was on my way to a meeting, and I just got my iPhone and I held it up and I pretended like I was doing a press conference to people. There's no one there, you know. And then I sent it to my friend Steve Dawson, who's a writer on on the Peter Show, and um, and. He uh, put some BBC graphics over it and like sounds of like journalists going, Peter, 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 Peter. It's with great regret that I announced today that um, I won't be making any more episodes of the Peter Serafinovich. People were like, wow, is this a real thing? And I basically said, yeah, I'm not doing another sh episode of the Peter Serafinovich show because I'm, I'm unhappy with the BBC's decision to not recommission the series. <laughs> so it was like people were like, WTF? So what are your plans for the future? Um, well, I'll probably uh, uh, try and reapply for a job at the BBC. So the show's not coming back to the BBC, no, but it is on a DVD. The DVD is out February 1st. Yes, and the reason that it is is because the DVD company said, you know, it's like you're not getting a second series, so how are we going to promote this? It's like there's no demand for it. And I was like, well, Every day, people email me or Twitter me and say, "When is the DVD going to be released?" Yeah. So they said, "Well, if you can, if you can demonstrate that there's a market for it, then we'll release it." So I twittered, "Look, if you uh, pre-order this on Amazon, and better still, if you review it on Amazon, I'll be then able to release it. I'll be able to release it." <laughs> so people actually took the time sure. to compose really thoughtful and funny reviews of the show and they obviously like loved the show and whatever wanted to get it on dvd and it's a cool dvd like we really put like lots of extras into it and stuff and and uh so i was really touched and then 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 the dvd is going to be released and you know cool so my fans are like now totally connected to me so it'll be interesting to see how well the DVD does. Come down to the Butterfield Karaoke Bar. Our state-of-the-art karaoke system comes equipped with almost 20 songs, including Bob. Change your mind. I'm the first in line. Honey, I'm still free. Take a chance on me. Queen. I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. His life from his poor property. Sinead O'Connor. Nothing compares to you. 